Nico Moon. Nico, thank you for taking time. Thanks for having me. Good to be here. For a lot of our audience, this is going to be an introduction to you. They know the song Good Time because Good Time's inside the top 10 at radio, and, and we've still got some headroom to get it even higher. Yeah, <laughs> it's just amazing, you know, that that Canada is showing me this, this much love. Canadian country music fans, uh, Canadian country radio. Uh, I just love coming up and visiting Canada so much, so to be accepted and uh, welcomed with open arms is just such a great feeling. Well, again, for a lot of our audience, you know, maybe this is uh, the first chance to kind of get to know Nico Moon. So uh, let me start. We, before we got recording here, you were, you were saying that you're originally from Georgia and you're, of course, now in Nashville. Um, I read that you're the, the son of uh, a father who played drums. So does music come kind of in a, in a hereditary manner? Good question. You know, I do think I was kind of born into it a little bit. My dad, like you said, plays drums, but he also plays guitar and writes songs. My mom plays guitar and writes songs. So I am really grateful that I was raised with this appreciation for music and for the, the art of making music. Well, reading a bit more about that, I thought, you know, I got the impression at least your mom and or your, your father and your mom, I'm sure as well, they sound like the greatest people in the world because your dad, and you correct me if I'm wrong, when you were born, he gave up the idea of being a touring musician uh, when you were born. And that just seems like the, the sign of just a, somebody who puts family first, right? And put that, uh, his musical uh, dreams aside. He did. He did. He was, uh, he had the opportunity to go to Europe to go on a European tour with his band. And he decided to turn it down because he wanted to stay home and take care of his family and be able to be, be with his family every day. So I'm really grateful to him for, uh, stepping up and doing that. And, uh, yeah. So in a lot of ways, you know, I do what I do cause I love it so much, but I'm also doing it for him too. That's so neat. I think it's so cool how it comes full circle. Now, of course, you've got the success with Good Time, but that's hardly your first taste at success. But I'm sure it's gratifying for you, but I'll bet your parents are so happy for you, especially with that sacrifice he made at the front end. Yeah, they're so excited. We talk about it pretty much every day. Uh, I feel like they know more about what's going on than I do. Because <laughs> sometimes they're updating me on new things that are happening or, oh, did you see, did you see this happen, that happened? So yeah, it's really, it's really great to uh, get that love and support from your family and know that they're proud of you. You know, every kid wants their parents to be proud of them. Well, well done on your part, then. <laughs> your end of the bargain with the success of Good Time. And I mentioned that this is hardly your first taste at success. Um, a lot of the songs that our fan base, country fan base, hears on the radio, your fingerprints are on as a writer. So... For a, a listener who doesn't necessarily know everything that's on your resume, uh, list some of those songs that our fans love that you at least co-wrote. Sure, okay. Uh, Homegrown by the Zach Brown Band. Uh, Back to Life by Rascal Flatts. Gone, which is the new single by Dirks Bentley. Uh, I got a song on the new Morgan Wallen album called More Surprised Than Me. It's impressive stuff. And uh, so, you know, you've got the chops for writing music. How did it feel then to step behind the microphone and become the artist? Was that kind of the end game all along for you? Is that what, what you wanted to do? Yeah, it was, you know, I've always just wanted to be a part of music in any way that I can. And the songwriting door opened up first for me. So I ran through that door as fast as I could, but I always knew in my heart that I'm an artist too. And that, uh, I got my own style of country music that I wanted to do and show people. And so I just needed to wait for the right time, you know, where it felt right. And that time's now. Well, am I ever glad you found the right time because good times on our hands. It's a killer song. And as I said, inside the top 10, but Thank I you. also, I also read where you almost gave that song away. I did. <laughs> I did. Yeah, I wrote it a couple of years ago and um, 
I pitched it out to some pretty big country artists out, out there and I didn't get any love on it. Really? And, uh, but that happens a lot, you know? Uh, that's just kind of how it goes. You know, maybe out of every hundred songs that I write, 99 of them never see the light of day. So uh, it never got any love, but it never got cut. But I knew that song was really special. And then about a year later, that's when I decided it was time for me to do my own thing. And I remembered that song. And I look at it now as, you know, it was meant to be that no one wanted to cut it because that was my song. It was meant for me. And it, it just feels so me anyways. Uh, it's exactly what I'm all about. I you think know, I'm so. a simple guy living a simple life. You know, I just want people to have fun. I get that impression because since you jumped on the Zoom call and gave us some of your time today, you've had a smile the whole time. It seems like good time is what Nico Moon's all about. It definitely is. You know, I, I just want to make people happy. I love people. I love connecting with them and helping them have fun. And so if I got you for an hour and a half at a live show or three minutes and 30 seconds on y'all's radio station, I want it to be like a, like a little mini vacation that you can go on when you listen to my music. Tell me about the new version of the song that's out now that features Shaggy. Yeah, so today the remix of Good Time came out and it's like a Caribbean twist on the song. So uh, Shaggy, who's this awesome reggae artist, reached out, said he heard the original Good Time and he loved it and wanted to collaborate on doing a remix of it, reggae style. So he did an amazing job with it. I'm super happy with how it came out. Reggae music is all about positivity and having fun too. So it was a perfect fit for me and good time. And yeah, so if you want to hear good time in a new type of way and more of a reggae type of uh, type of sound, check out the remix. I wish I could sit here on this Zoom call all day. You seem like my kind of guy. We're, we're having a good time, let alone you know, talking about a, a song called Good Time. Now, uh, and I know I don't have all day, so I do want to find out the full length project that you're working on now. Yeah. Is it, when, when you say kind of what makes you tick is helping people have a good time and such, um, can we expect more in that lane coming on the full project when it's done? Absolutely. The good times are going to keep rolling when it comes to the full length album. Uh, I got a saying for my music and that's uh, no sad songs. And there's even going to be a song on the album called No Sad Songs. So All right. the entire record is just going to be a fun record. It's going to be the kind of record you can put on when you have your friends over to grill out or you get out on some water and you don't have to skip any songs because they get all serious or they get sad or anything like that. It's just, it's going to be good times front to back. This has been killer. I appreciate it. Again, I could keep you here all day, but uh, you've got other things to do. You're Nico Moon. So let me ask you this. Where do people find you on social media? I'm on all of them, man. You can check me out on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, whatever, uh, uh, you know, Twitter, whatever your uh, social preference is. I'm on there hanging out with everybody. So and you can go to my website, NicoMoon.com as well. Good stuff. When can we expect that full project? You know, I hope, I, I'm really hoping that uh, I, I, I can get it out this year. Fingers crossed. Good stuff. Congrats on the success so far of Good Time, because I said it's inside the top 10, but we've still got some meat left on the bone. <laughs> That's <And> right. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks Thank for all, your time. For all the love for playing the song, you know, for all the love you're showing me in the song. It means the world to me. Uh, Y'all are changing my life, and uh, I can't wait to get up to Canada see y'all in person and hang out and get to play some live music up there. Well, your music's enhancing our lives. Thanks for it. Take care.